what happened to the 36 bloggers? What are the 36 bloggers up to now? Yeah, especially after the handshake. What are they spreading propaganda about? <laughs> now it is good to be an optimist. Yeah, always to believe positive. And a lot of people have used this uh, positivity as an excuse to blind themselves to the truth. Okay, because posit positivity tells us, rather those uh, who are positive, want to believe that 36 bloggers, Kazi Kwisha, yeah, that they are no longer operating. Yeah, it's good to be positive. But the brutal truth is the 36 bloggers are still very much around. Okay. Of course, there are one or two new things we know, yeah, since the handshake. We know, for instance, that uh, in this Cambridge Analytica saga, the 36 bloggers were looking at Omkono, yeah? They were executing the strategy which was uh, mooted by uh, Cambridge Analytica. And with a lot of zeal, and of course there's nothing wrong with zeal, <laughs> but you know, uh, most of these 36 bloggers are young men. They have not seen life. They don't have experience. Most of them believe if it comes from a mzungu, it's 100% correct. If it comes from a mzungu, it cannot be wrong. I believe this was the same viewpoint yeah, of uh, some of those key decision makers who are advisors to the president. Now, this is very sad. I don't know what uh, the problem is with some Kenyans and this Mzungu thing. To these Kenyans, Mzungus are gods. They can't do any wrong. Try and convince a young girl in Mombasa that some Mzungus are poor. <laughs> he will never succeed. All Mzungus are rich. All Mzungus are right. All Mzungus think better than Africans. That's what some Kenyans believe. And anyway, let me not get carried away by that. And let me come back to the point. So the 36 bloggers were executing with a lot of zeal, knowing that Mzungu is always right. Yeah, well, here we are. Yeah, and the, for those uh, Kenyans who are in that uh, school of thought, the Cambridge Analytica lesson is a very good one. Yeah, you have seen proof that Mzungus can actually be the worst crooks. They are human, okay? Just because somebody talks this language that came with ships through their nose does not mean they're intelligent. Please, please, just get that into your head. It doesn't mean that. And if somebody talks the same language with a heavy accent from whatever tribe in Kenya, that person is not an idiot. That person should not be written off. Okay? Anyway, the new target for the 36 bloggers is most fascinating. I don't know if you're able to guess. Actually, the new target yeah, for these propaganda peddlers is a person called Dr. Miguna Miguna. Now, recently when I made that, that uh, discovery, <laughs> I was more than a little surprised. Because to be very honest with you, I thought the 36 bloggers at least had gone for a brief holiday <laughs> well, uh, reorganization goes on so that they wait for their next instructions. Yeah, Apana, they're still operating. And one of the new enemies to be dealt with is definitely Dr. Miguna Miguna. <laughs> of course, I'll keep you posted, but I just thought uh, you should know. <laughs> Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. <laughs>